Good morning, it is day 14 of Vlogmas. I've got my coffee. My third coffee of the day, I think. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit wrecked this morning. Just, you know, one of those really dark mornings. Like, it's still pretty dark and it's half past, I think it's about half past eight. Now I'm up since about six. It was a real struggle to get out of bed. I don't usually struggle to get out of bed. But yeah, this morning I was lovely and cosy. The cats were um, laying on top of me. My hair is far too long. Um, Mindy was trying to wake me up. So she's she's very brutal, <laughs> is Mindy. She puts the claws out and she starts like digging into the duvet cover to try and pull it off me. And then I go further down into the duvet cover and she goes, yeah, she doesn't give up so until I poke my head out like a tortoise and then she starts scratching at my face. She wants my hands out to give her a rub because um, Mindy is one of those cats who want affection on her terms. So, yeah, morning time, she just wants to be rubbed and cuddled and everything. At evening time, she just wants to, you you sit over there, I'll sit over here. Or recently, um, of course, since we came back. From holidays she wants to sit on my lap in the evening which is really nice and it's not like her at all so that's going to wear off in another couple of days or so but yeah it's really dark this morning i didn't actually film any vlogmas yesterday i'm really sorry um do you know what i'm going to be straight i didn't feel like it <laughs> I, we uh caroline was here yesterday and we spent the whole day doing remnants so i feel like i'm dancing around the place so i'm looking over there because uh we have a load of remnants over there I have a load, I can see them in the conservatory. I have another pile here and we just kept going until they were done. So they've built up for ages. So we just have such a cycle of, event, of events here between sending out orders every week, truly grateful, and the Think Pink boxes. And then the advent calendars have taken over like months, months of work. And I know you're all really enjoying them. So that's super but what happens then is the remnants kind of get just piled up and piled up and piled up and as well as this room here i have a storeroom can't show you the storeroom at the moment because two months of think pink fabric is there um and it is absolutely rammed so yesterday we took a mission on yesterday we didn't send out any orders yesterday we just got on from the minute caroline came in until she went at four o'clock we just kept going at remnants so we have to measure them and we have to weigh them so she was doing that and then I was putting them on the website. So we've a ton of remnants and we've a load of remnants from like previous Think Pink boxes as well. You can see them all up there on top. And then we have a load of fabrics, like I have a load of See What Six fabrics there. And their original listing has just disappeared off the website. So then it's kind of like what I have to try and make a new listing just for a remnant. So what I do with the remnants, this is really boring, isn't it? This, I mean, this is just like paint drying, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so boring. <laughs> well, yesterday, in all my moans and all my groans and all my rectiness and all of that, my advent calendar came from my children. <laughs> so it's got, oh, what's his name on the front of it? The Disney character. Keris loves this Disney character can't think of his name anyway I know somebody's going to tell me in the comments so the FedEx man arrived yesterday evening now this advent calendar left Scotland on the 29th of November now they did post it at lastminute.com but I love the intention behind it it was expected FedEx had expected that it would be here by the first but unfortunately FedEx decided to send it to France so it left Glasgow went to Went to one of the airports, can't think of the name of that either, brain dead this morning, and then went off on its holidays to France. So I think while I was on my way to Lanzarote, my my advent calendar was on its way to France for a couple of days. Why not? So it came back to Dublin, um, I think possibly Saturday, which is when I arrived back in Dublin. So yeah, when I was flying back to Dublin from Lanzarote, so was my advent calendar. It's just hilarious, really, isn't it? Uh, but the poor bashed box arrived yesterday. There was a hole inside of it. I was afraid of my life. Something would be missing. But no, I've accounted for everything. So I've got day one to 20 here. So they're arriving over on the 20th and they're bringing the last couple of days. So that's really cool. So what we've decided to do is do day one and day 13 together. So that would have been yesterday. But as I say, I just didn't have it in me yesterday to film anything. I mean, I'm moany groany today. 
but yeah, yesterday evening, oh, I was zapped. So what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to open one and 13 and then later on this evening, you're going to get a double dose of me today. I'm going to open two and 14. So that will be really fun. So they told me that number one is, was picked for like my holidays. So it's like not as appropriate now. And number 13 is funny because my son has left a note on it saying, uh, where is it? Okay, so this is number one. <laughs> What's his, can't think, oh, can't think. And day 13, so funny because <laughs> he's written I know this is his writing and it's on post notes love it um it says day 13 oh unlucky <laughs> and I could just hear him saying it so here we go so for Kean Karras and Chelsea we're going in with number one so what could this be for number one? Oh, <laughs> they know they know what I like don't they it's just a, a lure. It's not a tub lure, Owen. It's just a lure. <laughs> and a Maltese. Just that good. Actually, that's going to be really nice for my... Um... Oh, <laughs> I love this. So I've got a passport holder and a luggage tag. Nice. <laughs> for the Grinch. So, <laughs> oh, that would have been so much fun. Never mind. That will come in for my next holiday after my move. <laughs> Okay, two chocolates in this one. It's good. Just checking if there isn't a third one. So day 13 is going in. Beautifully wrapped. <laughs> so I've got to pack it up. I count biscuits. So <laughs> love it. <laughs> I buy my son like a, a a mishmash of all sorts of different presents <clears throat> every Christmas and there's generally a packet of Viscount mint biscuits um, because we both love these. Now I actually instantly feel I have to put the kettle on and I have to go and have some biscuits. Mm, I really smell the um, mint and funnily enough Karis loves after eight so we really like our mint and mint is really good as well when you've an upset stomach. And my stomach is still upset from my holidays. So yeah, it's kind of all over the place. I don't know what to eat. Um, but funnily enough, when I see biscuits or I see Toblerone or anything like that, I definitely want to eat them. But in terms of like lunch, dinner, oh, no, I don't actually want food. So I may just have to live on a diet of chocolate alone. Too bad. Apart from the fact that I'm going to have to buy bigger leggings. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and I will see you later for day two and 14. And I actually have them ready. No, I don't. That was a lie. <laughs> see you later. So somebody's awake. Now time for tablets, isn't it? She loves tablets. And she thinks they're little treats. She is the best girl for taking tablets, aren't you? Time for a wee now. And then breakfast, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Come on, so we're going out for a wee. Yeah. Hello. So it's the evening time. I'm here with Lola. She's just relaxing herself, aren't you, Lola? Do you say hello? Here she is. So Lola's getting a lot of sympathy on Vlogmas. Uh, can you see yourself, Lola? Can you see? I think it's you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, so I've had a lot of people saying to me that they think that Lola has kennel cough. So um, Lola's actually been at the vets and the cardiologists in the last couple of weeks. So Lola has heart condition, so she has tablets every day that she takes. You saw her having her tablets earlier on. And um, she started coughing not long after Angel died. So if you followed my Vlogmas last year, and if you follow me during the year, you'll know that I had Angel, another Cavalier, and Scrappy, the little Shih Tzu. And both of them passed away this year. So we're down to one dog law, aren't we? Yeah, just down to Lola. 
And not long after Angel died, Lola started coughing. So I immediately booked her in with the vets, uh, brought her in thinking, oh, not a third doggy to go. So she had an x-ray, she had a scan, she had loads of tests. She was in for half a day, weren't you? In with the vets. And for the entire time that she was in with the vets, she didn't cough. So they did all the tests on her and sent her home saying that they found that in one of the, in the x-ray that they noticed that her heart had enlarged, which is completely normal, um, even though she's on tablets, that the heart is going to enlarge over time because, um, we, well, Lola's a rescue, so I'm not quite sure what age she is, but she's definitely 12 anyway. So they booked her a an appointment with a cardiologist. So uh, about three weeks ago, we went to the cardiologist. Um, he did a scan. There was no coughing while she was in with the cardiologist. And um, they found nothing wrong with her. So her kidneys are perfect, which is great, which is something that can be affected with um, the heart condition she has. He said she's in great health. She's perfect. He couldn't see any reason why she has a cough. Um, now, I had brought her in on a lead rather than bringing her in on the harness because um, if I get her harness out, she gets very excited. And I didn't want to excite her too much because she was going to think that she was going for a walk. But when she gets very excited, then she does an awful lot of barking and jumping. And I didn't want her to wear herself out because I was looking after her. So the only thing that the cardiologist could say was that possibly because she was on a lead rather than the harness maybe she was like tugging at it and it was hurting her throat but i did explain to her him that i did carry her into the into the um the veterinary practice so she wasn't actually on the lead at all i just had her on the lead in the waiting room so unless my vets are doing something wrong um she doesn't actually have um kennel cough so we think that she just has a cough now almost like habit or like sympathy um, and I think she's just missing the other dogs she's missing the company so what Lola wants is for me to be in here with her all day which is fair enough but she doesn't want to be out with me so I have brought her out into like the shop area and I've brought her out into the office she doesn't relax she just likes being in here and she wants me to be in here and it's just I mean just not possible for me to run the business in here so I, I put the cats in with her and then they're not really happy but they keep her company and that keeps her quiet so she's sitting there relaxed now there's no cough so we kind of just think the cough even though it sounds silly I think the cough is a little bit of sympathy and um, the vets have ruled everything out so that's the update on Lola. So I've had a very busy day. My lovely friend Karina came to visit today and she brought lunch. So we had a great little catch up. It was really nice. And she brought us pumpkin soup and homemade cheesecake. Yum, yum, yum. That was so nice. And I haven't even been hungry since. So thank you for feeding me today, Karina. It was great to see you also. Uh, we sent out um, orders today. Well, we, the Royal We, me, sent out orders today. And um, I've just been talking to my lovely friends on Zoom. I made, did I bring it in even? No, I made, while I was on Zoom talking to the ladies, I made a bracelet. So the bracelet, if you've got our advent calendar and you've seen, <laughs> when I watch my Vlogmas back, I see that I kind of limp a lot when I'm walking. It's just because my hip gets stiff, stiff sitting down. So while we were on um, Zoom, I made one of these bracelets. So I had already made the tubing uh, because I made a few of them at one stage. So I made the tubing. So I wound that this evening and that was so much fun. So that's actually what it's supposed to look like because they are the really little narrow bangle bracelets inside. So I'm really pleased with that. That's so nice. And now I'm sitting down with my next two gifts from the advent calendar that I got this morning. So this morning I opened 1 and 13, which is what I was hoping to open yesterday. And now I'm kind of catching up now. So I'm opening 2 and 14. So these are the official ones that I'm opening today. So number two has a rattle. A bell. It's got a bell. So... 
green. What could this be? <laughs> I think we might have some Grinchy slippers. Sorry about all the rustling. So, <laughs> I've got some slippers. What do you think, Lola? <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> They're so cool. So, that's number two. So, I could potentially have been bringing them on my holidays. <laughs> that would have been interesting. And then here's number 14. So this is the one for the actual day. Can't tell. It feels like a glass, something or other. Oh, I was going to say a candle. Oh, a Yankee candle. I do love. I do love a Yankee candle. Oh, that's so nice. What is it? Vanilla frosting. Mmm. Oh gosh, this smells really nice. I don't normally like the ones that are like cooking smells. So that one, but that is, mmm, that is very nice. Okay, I'll be lighting that tomorrow. Can you ever have too many candles at Christmas? Or can you ever have too many candles anyway? That is so nice. So two, four lovely um presents today. Yeah, and I can say that the biscuits are gone. So, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that's my quick little um, vlogmas catch up. Tomorrow is Friday again. So that is, yeah, this week has gone really fast, hasn't it? So I'm going to edit this little video together and uh, whack it up on YouTube. And I will see you all tomorrow for day 15, which is a very special day because it is my eldest's birthday tomorrow. So if you're watching this, Kian. <laughs> Happy birthday for tomorrow. And I will wish you happy birthday again tomorrow. So see you all tomorrow. Bye.